He's right. I, I can't even go 10 seconds. I'm lonely. It's because I hate women. Women is what I heal me, but they're selfish and materialistic. And they only care about your status and money. Pull a sock puppet up a six fingered hand. Everybody wing chung with a spiritually bankrupt, drank blood. They don't want me now because I don't have status or money. How can she love me with teeth like this? How can anyone love me with hands like these? No one can love me with a nose like this. My hair is too nappy. My clothes aren't expensive enough. I bought these shoes to attract all the indie Tyler Flower girls who are in the Magnum. Did it work? Decadence is the decline of society's morals, standards, dignity, honor, all, all the good words. These things led to the destruction of a society. Corrupt greed, weakness, and sexual deviance is what the Romans were doing distracting themselves with a false reality of gladiator fights so they wouldn't have to worry about what was actually happening in the real world, which was barbarians, outside, ready to attack. The military didn't even try to fight, and Rome fell. Decadence in the 21st century is stagnant. I feel so goddamn the monumental movies such as Star Wars and Back to the Future are dead as it's way more convenient to just make a turn off your brain superhero movie than it is to make something that'll be remembered for generations. Decadence is sitting on Twitter and fighting about nonsense then closing the app and never thinking about that shit again. Decadence is that space resort from Wally. Everyone was fat glued to their screens, being fed bullshit to their minds and bodies. They didn't have to worry, they didn't have to try, they didn't have to even critically think until Wally showed up. There's a comic called The Pleasure Box. Basically the comic is about a girl who travels to the future and she finds out that the future is just everybody sitting in chairs connected to this box on their head. The box is said to give you instant and infinite pleasure. And the human race just does that forever. And that's why I think we're going to see more and more incel rage. We're going to see more loneliness turn into anger and give us more and more examples. We have our pleasure boxes now, but they're not quite there yet. It's because we um we, we have our pleasure um we, we have our pleasure boxes now, but like um what? Our pleasure boxes are controlled by us. We can look up what scares us, what infuriates us, what shocks us, what haunts us, and what makes us lonely. Relationship posts were littered across Instagram when I first started using the app. And then came the sad Bart edits. <laughs> if I didn't get the fuck off of that shit when I did at, in 2018, that I probably would have been just like those niggas. It's easier to blame something you can't control and constantly look up things that agree with what you think and constantly be fed that psychotic shit that it is to look inside of yourself because we're always on these fucking pla- What? It's easier to have faceless people lie about your appearance and say you look beautiful no matter how fucking ugly you look than it is to go outside in the real world or go on 4chan and see what people really think about you. It's easier to pretend you're part of a family or a relationship or a friendship or just pretend like you're having dinner with somebody than it is to sit alone and feel that and make yourself lonely and not distract you anymore so you can actually think and say, okay, why am I eating alone? What the fuck is going on? And what can I do so I don't feel this? Soon, these things will get smarter and smarter and they will get better and better at keeping you locked in to the point where this pleasure box comic will be real to the point where we will all just be like the space resort in Wally with fucking boxes on our head just locked just being constantly fed infinite and instant pleasure you want to know my I know.
Muhammad, the Prophet, I go by the Meta Chavin Gabriel.